Hello guys and welcome to a showcase here on Redstone Open Door. Yes, it is awesome. Now, so today I've got a redstone creation for you. Um, I'm using the cauldron hard drive that I showed you uh, a couple of videos ago and I'm ecstatic by that thing. It is um, quite incredible for me to be honest. I mean, it's the, the second, first or second sort of real upload I stuck up. And um, would you look at it? It's it's nearly a thousand views like that. For me, that really does quite blow me away. Um, but anyway, this here is a, a timer of sorts. It counts in minutes and hours. Uh, it can go up to a maximum of uh, ten hours. At which point, on the ten hour mark, it'll give a signal and reset itself. Um, it's using three hard drives. Uh, one for each of the digits, obviously. We've got one here, one here, and one here. Um, and I've, I've tried to wire them up differently just so I could experiment with uh, different ways of wiring the hard drive up to the display. Um, the reason I made this is so that I could build a PvP map and have this in the background uh, on a big board. I didn't want it to be a scoreboard feature because if it was a scoreboard feature the scoreboard would get very cluttered basically with this and various other things it just wasn't worth it so um anyway that's it for now and uh let's jump into the next section of this show and i'm dead so let's have a quick respawn and spin around and here we are uh, this world here is something that I made quickly for this video uh, with MZ, it just to demonstrate the features of this clock. So, first of all, I've taken the hour segment here, so this would have been the minute segment, but this is the hour segment I've displayed here, and I chose this because I think this was the one that I wired up best. Um, so let's quickly talk about this first before I do anything else. I'm using hoppers here with comparators pointing into the lamps, and the reason I did this was basically so if I needed to, I could have redstone run right next to here. I didn't want to use redstone power blocks here. Just for some weird reason, if I needed a redstone block, you know, dot here, I could do so. It was really the main reason I did so. So these are just hoppers filled with hoppers. So let's talk about this quickly. This is a really simple thing to understand. So over here, we have the hard drive itself holding an even amount of data. Each row here is for the actual numbers it displays. And these end cauldrons here are what I'm calling the trigger cauldrons. In this case, in the hour one, I would put water in one of these and use it as the output for the sort of 10, 10 hour cycle. So if on the 10 hour I wanted a command block just to say 10 hours have passed or something. Um, however, on the other ones, the cauldron on the end here would trigger the next cauldron in the line. So for instance, when this cauldron, when the cauldron there was triggered on the one minute section, it would trigger the 10 minute section and the 10 minute section would skip on one. Uh, when I hit 60 minutes and that cauldron, that trigger cauldron came up, it would come along a line of redstone that just comes up the back here, comes down here, comes to this pulse limiter here, using that two-tip pulse limit, and it would come into this big array here, and would move on an hour. Um, so as you can see, I've colour-coded them. This was, I made a kind of big display thing here, just so that I could quite easily code this really to me, so I could just look up the display and go, it's a number 9, so I need white, red, pink, and then do red, red, and pink all together. And it just made my life simple, which is why this is all colour coded. Um, so let's talk about, that's, that's the real, we've all seen that before. Then the next section is really the connection. So this is my connection. Now I'm splitting this connection to two halves. Our first half here is the way we're actually powering the lights, and then our second half is this white mess of wires. Now, one of them I did randomly, one of them I split the wires using torch towers, and this one here I use this system. Now this system is really simple to understand. All these repeaters power the block in front of them. From there you either can take the signal out from above the block, like so, or you can take the signal out from below the block. And this way these two wires don't intercept. If I were to do this again, I'd probably think about which order I put these in. Uh, but for this, I thought, you know, it works, and I could do it, and I think it, it works. It, it does its job. And then the way we're powering these 2x2 two two pixels here is quite simple. We're just getting the torch to power the lamp in front of it, and then it also powers the block on top of it, which obviously powers the, the guy in front of it. And that's how that display works here. So that's really it, to be honest, for this clock. Um, you'll see a PvP map from me coming up in the near future, and that will feature this timer in it. Um, but anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later.